my name's Caitlin and I'm on staff here at YWAM Wiley. This past couple months the Lord's been teaching me about work. Work we often think of as a necessary evil or a result of the fall. Um, sometimes we go to the extreme and say faith, it's faith that not works and so we don't care about our work. Um, and it's just a way to put, put food on the table. Or um, we believe that work is only holy if it's for ministry. But I want to challenge you guys that work is worship, no matter what kind of work you're doing. Um, to, to truly understand what the Bible says about work, we have to start in Genesis. In Genesis 2-2, it says, On the seventh day, God had completed his work that he had done. Um, God doesn't ask us to do anything throughout the Bible that he doesn't do himself, um, including work. Jesus himself did work. Um, he regularly serves his disciples, serves the community uh, throughout his ministry. When we look at God's work, there's three things that God's generated through his work. He's created order, he's created creativity and beauty, and he's created benefit. In Genesis 1-3, God says, let there be light, and then there was light. He takes chaos and creates order. Then in Genesis 1-9, he says, let there be an expanse between the water, separating water from water. He creates land. He takes chaos and brings order. He continues to do this throughout the next several days of creation. And then, on in Genesis 1 verse 28, God says to Adam, um, subdue the earth. He, he commissions Adam and says, go bring order. Go bring it under control. Um, the second thing God does is he brings creativity and beauty. In Genesis 1.20 it said, God said, let the water swarm with living creatures and let the birds fly above and the earth across the expanse of all the sky. And he continues to do the same thing with the animals. He's creating diversity, but he's also creating be beauty in each living creature that he creates. The third thing that God creates through his work is benefit. In Genesis 1.28 it says, and God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Humans are the only thing that God tells to reproduce. Why? Because when animals reproduce, you get more animals. But when humans reproduce, you get something greater. You get ingenuity, development, and a cultivation of ideas. For example, an okay apple tree will reproduce maybe some okay apples. A man sees an apple tree and he subdues it. He prunes back the branches, tends to the tree, and the tree yields great apples. But not only does he get great apples, he gets enough not just for himself, but for those around him. So he takes them to market and sells them. He gives them to his neighbors. His wife preserves them and makes applesauce and apple butter. She makes them into a hundred different dishes. In Genesis 1:29, God said, look, I have given you every seed bearing plant on the surface of the entire earth and every tree whose fruit contains seeds. He's pointing out all the things that he has placed on earth that will benefit Adam and Eve. And he asked them to use the earth to bring benefit to one another. The story of creation is not a story of making something out of nothing as much as it is a story of taking something and bringing order and design into making it greater and more beneficial. God asks us to do the same thing, to subdue the chaos, to bring order, and to bring out its potential. Some things to reflect on are how does your work contribute to the community? What are some ways that you can bring glory to God by doing your job? And how is your work worship? I'd like you guys to spend some time and reflect on those after this video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.